It's another edition of After Hours with the crew, joined once again by Will Zapernick. And Will, a four-point night and a 6-2 win. Just walk me through, uh, we'll get into the, the particulars about what happened with their team in a minute, but walk me through the process of, of coming out blazing in the first period and you just didn't really stop. Uh, I mean, a big, big thing obviously is uh, like the whole team, my whole line was on fire tonight. We were all, you know, rolling. We were, we were playing good all night. And, you know, it just takes, you know, one good pass to get a point on my line, one even just a dump into the corner, and you never know what's, you know, Atwell or Kaiser is going to do with the puck and bring it out and get you an assist. So, I mean, the biggest thing for me is uh, yeah, definitely my line mates tonight. I, would, I felt great from the drop of the puck, but uh, the guys on my, uh, on my line are, like, the real reason, you know, I, I'll put up points any night because I got, I got great feeds tonight. I got, you know, and then I got the people that obviously finished the, the plays, and those are, you know, those are, you know, Kaiser and Atwell. That was, uh, I think that was the biggest part of my night tonight. So let's talk about what happened this morning. So you probably find out the same way everybody yeah. else does. All of a sudden, Gord Thibodeau, no longer the coach of this team. You play them tonight. And this isn't even the first time this has happened this season, yeah. right? It happened with Lloyd earlier. Yeah. Uh, does that change prep? Like, what, what is the conversation in the room after you see that happen? No, uh, well, I mean, we, we figured that they were, you know, Adam made sure we knew that, you know, they're going to, they, they got a new coach and they're going to be coming out to earn their jobs. And, uh, they're going to be coming out harder, if anything, than, than they would be with Gord behind the bench. So we knew we had to make sure, you know, they're a hard, physical team. We knew we, uh, we have, you know, we, we feel we have more skill than them. But in the end, we need to match their compete if we want any chance of, uh, of winning that game, which, you know, I feel we did a, an all right job. If we gave up too many grade-A chances, you know, Guy Lander played unreal between the pipes. But, uh, yeah, we, we knew we needed to be ready to go tonight. Like, this was a massive game for us. Like, we cannot lose any games with the way Bonneville is playing right now. You know, we... Uh, we had to make sure we were ready to go tonight, and uh, you know, three nothing first period was was great. You know, it wasn't our best period of hockey by any means, but just just to come out and put up three and you know be in control of the game was definitely huge for us. But yeah, no, we uh, we, we we were we were prepared. And you, you come out and you're taking on a goalie that has played most of this season in midget AAA. He gets the start against you guys tonight with only one game under his belt. Was part of the game plan to try and get some shots in on him early and see what he was all about? Oh, 100%. We wanted to uh, welcome him to the league. Uh, we want we wanted to give him a good welcome to the league tonight. You know, right right from the, right from our uh, meeting this uh, the meeting before the game, we said we want to absolutely pepper this guy in between the pipes because you know we need to show him what uh, that he can't just come up into the AJ and you know it's not it's not easy you know he. I feel, you know, it wasn't, he had three tough, tough chances, like three tough goals. You know, I know he's a great goaltender over there, but we wanted to make sure we, uh, we, we put a lot of pucks on him and, you know, we, we knew in the end, you know, we'd get our, we'd get our chance and we just got to put him in the net. So yeah, no, our, our game plan was big time start to pepper this guy in net and, uh, it worked out in the first for sure and you know for the rest of the game you know, with their other goalie so you might not see it the way that dave and i do from our broadcast vantage point but of all, all of their five ap's tonight i think played pretty well did you guys notice uh, what they were able to do uh from ice level yeah i mean they were you know i feel like all five of those guys probably have a future in this league or you know the who wherever they wherever they choose to go i i definitely didn't don't think any of them seemed uh out of place you know just like, just like a little nervous, just like I was when I was an AP. Like everyone, you know, when you're playing your first couple AJ games, it's a little nerve-wracking. It takes take some time to adjust the speed. But no, I, I, I agree. You know, the one guy had a, had a breakaway. D-man was pretty good back there. But um, it still, you know, was in our game plan to attack them and, you know, make sure we uh, put pressure on them because, you know, you, the nerves and they're, you know, they're holding their stick tight. And uh, so we're just trying to take advantage of that. Finally, so obviously you guys did well not to look past White Court. You've got Bonneville tomorrow night, and this is this could be a, a season-changing game right now. So what is the thought process? How quickly have you shifted away, or do you plan to shift away from the win tonight and start focusing on tomorrow? Well, yeah, just like every game, you know, every uh, the game that we play tonight, you know, 12 o'clock, we wipe it, no matter if it's a loss or a big win, and we, uh, we reset. I mean, it's, this is obviously... We, we personally feel we need to win this game if we want any chances of locking up uh, first in the north. So, you know, it's just about going in and playing the best game of the year in the right game and in a tough barn. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a really fun hockey game. I think, I think we're all super excited and it's just, this is, this is what you play hockey for. This is what you come to the rink for is these, these games tomorrow. And it's just, you just want to be that guy that gets the big goal. That's right. Thanks so much, as always, for your time, Will, and I wish you the best of luck tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Joined now on After Hours with the crew by the big man, Jaden Platts. It's, uh, I think it's the first time you've been on this feature with us. Coming off of a 6-2 win tonight against White Court. You got out there and you took care of business. They had some adversity coming into this game for sure. Just walk me through sort of the pregame speeches or, or what was said in the room knowing that they had just had that coaching change this morning. 
Uh, basically, we we discussed like we knew they got the coaching change, but that didn't change anything we wanted to do. I mean, we we had to go out there, play our game, get these big two points, head in tomorrow, and just create some momentum out there. And really, we just really uh, emphasized focusing on our on ourselves and in our own room, and we we went out there and got the job done. Talk about uh, you guys have offense that really just flows throughout this entire lineup. How valuable is that for you as a team to be able to roll four lines, especially in a game like this? It's huge. I mean, like every everybody can go out there and get the job done, and it's huge. It gives gets everyone into the game, get everyone moving, and just it creates a better atmosphere for us on the bench, knowing that whoever's out there can get the job done, and that depth is really showing off in games like this where everyone's contributing and getting the job. Uh, knowing you guys are, are really, you can't sacrifice any points at this point with how Bonneville's been playing. How valuable was it for you to secure this win, knowing that you got to go into their barn tomorrow night in a game that could realistically be the season? Uh, it was huge. Like we got we got out there. We mean our first period was a little shaky, but after that we kind of settled down, secured some momentum, and really that was what we needed to do. We want to get these two points, get moving into tomorrow, and build the momentum, and just kind of build off this game, get those two points first before thinking about tomorrow. Now, now that's that's done. We're we're full steam ahead for tomorrow, getting the job done there. When you see uh, the game start to take a turn towards, it, it, there's a lot of penalties tonight. I think that's easy to say. What are you guys saying on the bench you know, with respect to just kind of keeping a level head and, and maintaining discipline? I mean, yeah, we've we've had games like this all season sort of thing where it seems like every now and then just penalties just start adding up for both sides, almost like that. And um, just basically knowing we got to go either if we're on the PK or on the power play, just go out there, get the job done, and then just build momentum off each situation on the special teams and roll into our five-on-five -five play. Uh, last one for you, Jaden. You, you've got Bonneville tomorrow, and uh, like I said, that's it could be a season-altering game. You guys have traded wins with them. Uh, what is it going to take for the Crusaders to come out of tomorrow night with with arguably their biggest win of the season? Um, really, it's just, we just got to bear down. I mean, we we showed in that first period we were a little shaky, but going into that second and the third period, we think felt we just kept getting better and better and more stable in our back end. So. Um, really, we got to build from our end out. Like we got great goaltending tonight, and whoever's going tomorrow will give us great goaltending again. So, we just gotta we got that safety safety factor back there, and we just kind of got we got to play our game. Like we got a great team out here. I mean, I, I feel we can go head to head with anybody in this league, and honestly, give us a good chance for two points night in night out. So, just going into their barn tomorrow, knowing knowing we can get the job done, just being confident in our play. Well, I wish you the best of luck tomorrow, and I certainly appreciate your time. Thank you very much.